Uh, here's another angle. You kind of see the tops of the buildings. Not too much, but um, not sure what this one is. Don't remember now, but you can't see anything at all. Just know it's a little foggy out and about as you're going throughout your day. So uh, let's get straight to that visibility map for you. Definitely looking at some issues down near the coastal area. So extreme southern portion of the south shore. So looking at Homa, Galliano, Port Fushan. Uh, and then as you look on the north shore, that's pretty clear. Not too many issues out there for this morning for you. All right, let's talk about the cool air that is coming in. So we'll get some really windy conditions in here as we get to tonight. That front continues to push through, going to bring us some cooler and some drier air. So we will get some of that as well. But up north to us, the Midwest and portions of the Northeast also looking at frost advisories, freeze warnings. So they're already dealing with the cooler temperatures. Does not mean we are going to get any of these advisories at all. I'm just telling you. Things are getting colder uh, just to the west of us out towards the Lake Charles area. They are looking at some fire weather watch uh, due to the low humidity and also some breezy conditions. That's not for us, though. For us, however, we're talking about for tomorrow. We're looking at small craft advisories. I was expecting this. I said that yesterday. I was expecting this uh, for today on into tomorrow because of the winds. So we're talking about gust up to about 50 miles per hour if you do work along the shore. That's tonight on into tomorrow. Dew points, though, for you. Look at the difference. Huge difference here. You can draw a line, basically, uh, and that just shows you where that that drier air is right now. North Shore, you've already got the dry air. South Shore, not so much. It's still kind of on the muggy side, but eventually, as we go throughout the day, we're all going to feel a whole lot better for us. Your temperatures right now, lower 60s, almost into some 50s. Hammond, 61 degrees, but then you got 73 down in Kenner, so still a good amount of a difference though. Highs for today will make it into the mid 80s, so just a couple of degrees above average and a couple of degrees cooler than yesterday. Your wind speeds right now, it's all pretty calm, uh, but as we get into tonight and as that front continues to push through, well, the wind gusts will pick up. We're talking about wind gusts 30, 35 miles per hour at times. So just know it's going to be very breezy, especially as we do get into tomorrow morning. And that's when our temperatures will also look different. Your tropical outlook, two areas we're watching, but as of right now, it doesn't look like they'll have a, an impact on our area as that front continues to push through. It's going to kind of work as a blocking mechanism. Here's a look at the rest of your WDSU first warning seven day forecast. Look at the big temperature difference for tomorrow. More 70s throughout the week. Warming back up as we get into the weekend break.